everyone, Libby here. Been to Costco again. You might have already seen the vlog, it probably about before this. If you want to see around the shop, you can check out the vlog. I filmed a bit in there. Otherwise, I'm just going to share the haul here as part of my weekly grocery haul. Um, hopefully, I won't need to pick up too much else this week because I did a bit of a shop yesterday at the local supermarket. And this and that should hopefully keep us going for quite some time. <laughs> If you've got any questions about anything that I've shown you today, just ask. Uh, in the vlog, I did when I picked up some things, I tried to show prices and I've tried to mention the ones that I knew of here. But if you've got anything else you want to know about, just let me know. I'll keep the docket handy so I can let you go know. Okay, another Costco haul. So this is fridge and freezer stuff so I can get popped away. So we actually decided to try one of the margarita pizzas for dinner tonight. Now, it's got a bit mushed up because I actually realised I saw it sort of standing up right on the way home. But considering it's not too bad, we can tidy it up. Kevin bought this beetroot carrot apple. Jeez, the lighting is not very good in here at the minute, is it? I hope you can see that. Beetroot carrot apple ginger and lemon um, juice. We got some spinach and ricotta bread with all these for dinner for Friday night because we're going to have some teenagers here and some gnocchi because we love the gnocchi from there. Um, tonight with the pizza we're also going to have some of this pumpkin and couscous salad that look really nice and obviously lunches tomorrow or whatever. Block of cheese which are probably great. Um, these falafels, I haven't tried these before, Alibaba falafels. Alibaba falafels. The ingredients are not too bad. You can make them out there. They have got preservatives in them but otherwise they're not too bad until I can um, buy the ones that are perfectly good. I have to go, you know, 25 minute drive to get those. Or make my own. I've got some mixed berries. Kevin got some slow cooked pork ribs in chili plum sauce. He's going to take them in for work. And they were pretty expensive, they're $18. So um, he bought them to take into work to have for lunch one day. I've got the veggie patties with um, red beans. Again, pretty good ingredients. Not perfect, but not too bad. Um, they've got tea, texture of soy protein, not quite sure what that is, and um, a bit of colouring. I don't know why you have to add colouring to these things, but yeah, so but they're not too bad um, for a veggie patty. Again, so I can get Cind the Cindian brand that I can get at Coles are the best. You can get veggie, veggie bites and falafels, but you have to go searching for them. So this is a huge lasagna. Again, for the teens we're going to have on Friday night, they're going trick-or-treating and then some of them are staying overnight. Um, and some might just stay for dinner, I'm not sure, because I've got big lasagna. Obviously I don't cook meat, so we have to bind them with meat in it. Kevin bought some more of these little gelato sticks. He loves them. I was horrified when I realised they're nearly a dollar, a little stick. But anyway, <laughs> that's the danger of having Kevin with me. And they actually come in that little pack, They come and then a nice box, but he's... The box is still in the car and they came in a little um so they should make a nice present the first time he got them a friend bought them for him um as a gift and he really liked them so they come in an insulated box got some spanic appear i looked at it last time and didn't buy it and i saw someone else with it today so i decided i would get one and that goes in the freezer so it lasts a long time pizza cheese <laughs> and ham these are both for christy's got to take She's got to take ingredients to make pizzas at school for like 50 kids. So they needed a kilo of cheese, so we'll get one and one will go to school. And ham, it was ham for 50 pizzas. We really didn't know how much ham to buy, so got two packs. Unfortunately, it's not free range ham, which I prefer to buy, but that's all I had there. Well, possibly they would work in our little freezer, so who knows. But I thought they were really handy, and if they work well, I might even get another set next time we go if they've still got them. Pens, Christy told me this morning she wanted some pens. I'm not quite sure that's what she wanted. And if they're not right, I'll take them back. But I thought, well, I might as well pick some up while I'm there. <laughs> Huge stack of Lebanese bread. This is for 50 pizzas for the school. So, yeah. Lucky I know they're really nice and they're really cheap. But the two packs, so 14 Lebanese bread, it was $1.70 or $1.80. That's crazy. Very good value. Um... The lighting here doesn't seem to be very good today, so I'm sorry about that. Um, two boxes or two packages, what do you want to call them, of the whole grain pasta. There's also 50 paper plates there, also for the school for their pizzas. Um, Stacey's pita chips, which I really, really love. Um, 
Yummy. Some salt and vinegar chips for the kids for Friday night. Another packet of corn chips just to have on standby. I've still got a half a packet at least left. Got these rice rolls um, for lunches for people. I've got some more of these uh, Mrs. May Naturals too, the roasted nut selection. Um, they were really nice. The kids liked them. So the kids, Kevin and Athena, liked them. So I've got some more of those. Big bag of very expensive pine nuts. <laughs> So that was like nearly thirty dollars for the pine nuts, but pine nuts are expensive, and I do enjoy them in my salads. So that should last hopefully quite some time. Anyway, almonds because I've still got a packet, but I'm going to start making my own almond milk again. So I want to get some more of them. At the back we have cookie and brownie cast iron skillets. The recommendation is to break them apart as gifts, so you have four gifts. They were twenty dollars, so five dollars a thing. So apparently one is for gifts, and Kevin said one is for him. But there's only two different flavours, so you're only going to need one of each. I don't think you actually read it properly. So, I have no idea. I didn't, didn't look at the ingredients. I imagine they'd be quite scary, but <laughs> they're a good little teacher's gift or something like that, something different. And for us, I don't have a Costco local. Um, most people haven't probably been to Costco in Wollongong. So, teachers, we should be right. Kevin bought some of these mints. He goes, oh, I just bought some at Coles yesterday. So, <laughs> he'll take them into work. And over the back, I've got some more coconut water. Um, Kevin got some lemon, lime and bitters and he got some lime and soda mixes there. whole lot of fruit and vegetables, bananas, capsicums, the blueberries look really nice, look how big they are, they're huge. Um, some leeks, little tomatoes, I hope I'm going to get through all them before they sort of go past their best, um, hopefully. <laughs> some of the cos lettuce. Again with a cucumber, but it's always juice a cucumber, I guess. Very spinach, um, corn, and a big bag of sweet potatoes because we've been going through so many sweet potatoes. But they're, oh, they're really tiny ones. I'd rather prefer bigger sweet potatoes than those, but because it's a lot of peeling, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, that's fine. So that was that, and I just got a few tops, which are over here. So well, I've got two, I picked up two of the yoga tops. I had some, um, thought they were really nice colours. And I know I don't have much in singlet tops for summer. So I thought they were really nice. I've got two of those. And this is a skirt I picked up for Athena. If she likes it again, if she doesn't like it, I will return it. But it looked like a nice sort of stretchy skirt and sort of a decent length. So I said, if she doesn't like it, I can return it. So it says it's Colorado, but the brand is Tranquility. Oh, by Colorado Clothing. There you go. <laughs> so it feels really nice. So first clothing, I bought at Costco, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, well, Pop went down today to get me a few groceries that we're needing because we've got the kids over tonight. We need breakfast supplies. Um, I asked, he was supposed to get me the, the um, one with the tea, but he couldn't find it, so he's got me a lemonade. I don't know what it's like. I guess we'll try it. Oh, nice. Yeah, we like most of the brand, of the Charlie's brand. Apple juice for Christy, two pints of strawberries, um, some ham for lunches for tomorrow, bananas, some zucchinis. I was going to try and do spiralised zucchinis. I don't know what they're called. They're called something else. Um, well, they make noodles, zoodles or something they're called, for dinner for me for Monday night. Some bread, just some country grain and high fibre. Potatoes for dinner for Sunday night. Um, I've got a big breadstick I'm going to... Um, butter for tonight's dinner and some cocoa pops for the kids for breakfast tomorrow.